Hello everyone, this is how to stop people from stealing your calculator by renaming it. Now be warned, the tool you will be using to do this is incredibly powerful. Do not change anything other than what I'm about to show you. If you ever mess anything up, press clear to cancel. I'm not kidding, if you mess around with this program, you can permanently turn your calculator into a $200 brick with no way of recovering it. If you ever have the urge to change things, use an emulator such as CMU like I do. Now that you've been warned, here's how to get the tool. Go to tiplanet.org. To the left, you'll see a search bar. Type in C-E-R-M-A-S-T-R. -E click on Go to search. Once the page loads, click on the Available option, then click on the green Download button. Click on the card above if you need help sending the file to your calculator. Here's how to see the calculator's name. Press second, then plus, then enter. This will show you the calculator's name. Press clear to exit. To change it, go to your programs list, then select programs Sir Master. Your calculator may be outdated, so click on the card above if you get an error. Once you enter the program, use the up and down arrow keys to scroll down to number 42 where it says TI84 plus CE. Use the left and right arrow keys to select the letter you want to edit. It would be hard to see, but the selected character will be red. Use the plus and minus keys to change the value. Note, the values are in hexadecimal, not base 10 like they're used to. While I'm changing the name, here are some useful hexadecimal values to refer to. The number 0 starts at value 30, the capital letter A starts at value 41, and the lowercase letter A starts at value 61. Make sure not to change the very last value, I'll show you why in just a few seconds. When you're finished, press enter to save it, press clear if you want to cancel. Now if we go into the about menu, we will see that the name of the calculator has changed to high world. Now here's why you shouldn't change that last value. As you can see, changing the last value messes up the name, changing it back to 00, zero will fix the issue. Here's how the clear key works. See I changed the minus to a plus, now if I press clear and go to the about menu, you'll see it didn't change. I'm sure many of you know that cool tricks you can do to your calculator get removed after a RAM or a memory clear. Let's see what happens when I reset the calculator. Note this validation process is not a side effect of this program. As you can see, the name remained just as we left it. Now what happens if we go to the extreme and reset all the memory? The program was archived, so it remained on the calculator after that RAM reset. And there you go, the name remains even after resetting all the memory. And if we go into the program menu, you'll see the program is gone. That means the name cannot be changed unless you reinstalled the program. So how is this any better than physically writing your name on the calculator? Well, in most cases it's not. However, if you can't stand blemishing the clean looks of your new calculator, or you just want double protection, this is the most clean way to protect it. Now if anyone steals your calculator, it's gonna look pretty darn suspicious if the calculator has someone else's name everywhere. Thank you for watching. If you didn't like the video, please comment why, or I'll assume you're a troll. Have a good day.